From the Laycock Center in Williamsburg, welcome to Football Media Day. This is Jay Colley with head co football coach at the College of William & Mary, Jimmy Laycock. And first of all, coach, congratulations on the team's victory over Hampton on the road this past weekend. Well, thanks, Jay. You know, it's it's always good to get a win and always good to get that first win. You know, you, you, you know, there's different ways of going about it. And when you have to go on the road in, in a, a pretty tough situation, some circumstances were tough. I thought, you know, all that, all that said, and um, I, I was pleased with the win. And I was pleased with a lot of things we saw uh, Saturday night down there. You mentioned, I think, in your press conference, Coach, afterwards that there were points of the game you were very pleased with offensively and defensively. Tell us about those. Well, I think, you know, most notably was the way we came back in the second half. I mean, you know, the first half, 7-7, you know, there were some good p parts and some bad parts, really. But then we came back in the third quarter, and we just completely controlled it. I mean, defensively, we'd go out there. It'd be three and out. Offense, we'd get it. We'd drive it down, you know, make a, a run or a throw or whatever. And, again, we basically put the game away in the third quarter. And uh, in, in order to, and to do that, to regroup like that, it's probably the thing that I was most pleased with. Let's talk the defensive side of the football first, where Corey Parker got his second interception in two games. You had a, a, a true freshman, I, Isaiah Laster, getting uh, getting a pick. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't remember. I don't think we've ever started two freshmen back here. One a red shirt, one a true freshman. Uh, you know, put them in that situation, and they uh, they didn't blink. They they got in there and played. They made some mistakes, missed a couple tackles here, but you know, especially Corey really playing well. He's off to a great start this year. So again, they were in the right place at the right time with the interceptions, and uh, you know, we we had good play. Uh, Nate Atkins again at the middle linebacker positions keep coming around. Stephen Love now linebacker improved. Marcus Harvey gave us a good game on the outside. Peyton Grider up front. Good pressure, played hard. So again, you know, we're getting some pretty good play uh, there out of, out of some of those positions. But again, we're very, very young on defense, and we're going to make some mistakes, and we just have to keep learning from those and improving. Steve Cluley was the quarterback club offensive player of the week. Well, you know, Steve kind of did what we would expect him to do. He looked more like himself in this game than maybe in the first game. Uh, it, you know, there was a, it was a reason for all his throws, and most all of them were – on target, you know his reads were right on. His, his um, plays at the line, calls at the line were right on. He did a great job uh, getting us in the right formation, getting us in the right protections, and then throwing the ball. Obviously, he threw very well. You guys have practiced in what we are affectionately calling the renovated new Zabel Stadium heading into this opening game. You've practiced there for now a couple of months, Coach, but how excited are you personally as a head coach of this program uh, to, to open up this facility this weekend? Well, it's, it's always good to get back home and play. I mean, that, that said, we're having two road games, and, uh, and it'll have a little bit more significance, obviously, because of the change in Zabel Stadium, because it is a significant change, and, you know, we've kind of gotten used to it by being around it. We've watched it, you know, day to day for the last uh, two years as they've uh, worked on it, but it is impressive. It's a great facility, and I I'm looking forward to playing at home, and I'm looking forward for the excitement of a home crowd. Uh, I'll ask this question. I kind of ask it about homecoming every year, but are you concerned that the players are maybe looking forward to that excitement as opposed to paying attention to Norfolk State? I don't think so. I think all they had to do was turn on the tape and look at Norfolk State playing Richmond last week, and they played them right to, right to the end, played them very well. So, again, this is a very talented, very well-coached team. So we've got to put our emphasis on that, and that's where, that's where we're uh, putting it all this week. Some keys to a victory for the Tribe at home. Well, I think, again, you know, offensively, we've got to get a running game a little bit more untracked. I mean, we're, we're getting by with some throws. Devontae Dedman's making some big plays in the passing game, but we've got to get our running game going a little bit more. And our guys up front have got to, uh, got to exert themselves there. Defensively, we've got to be able to contain uh, Hankerson, the Norfolk State quarterback. He is a very gifted player, uh, throwing and running. He can scramble as well as uh, make all the throws, and that's going to be a big key for us uh, uh, defensively. Good luck Saturday, Coach and congratulations on uh, you know, uh, being the head of this program that's seeing such improvement over the last 10 years, and the epitome, obviously, is uh, the new Zabel Stadium this Saturday. Well, we're excited. Thank you, Jay.